Yeah, what's that family? I want to talk to you guys about Babylon. I'm in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 11. I want to start at verse 11. So that's Jeremiah 11, verse 11. trying to find like a good spot to sit. Yeah, this will work. Therefore thou says the Lord, Behold, I will bring evil upon them, which they shall not be able to escape. And though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. Then shall the cities of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem go and cry unto the gods unto whom they offer incense. But they shall not save them at all in the time of their trouble. For according to the number of thy cities were thou gods, O Judah, and according to the number of the streets of Jerusalem have ye set up altars, that shameful thing, even altars to burn incense unto Baal. Therefore pray not thou for these people, neither lift up a cry or a prayer for them, for I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for their trouble. What hath my beloved to do in my house, seeing she hath wroth lewdness with many, and the holy flesh is passed from thee? When thou doest evil, then thou rejoice. The Lord call thy name a green olive tree, and fair and of good good of goodly fruit with the noise of the great tumult he hath kindled the fire upon it and the branches of it are broken for the lord of hosts that planted thee hath pronounced evil against thee for the evil of the house of israel and the house of judah which they have done against themselves to baroque me to anger and offer an incense and to ball Verse 18, the certainty of doom. And the Lord hath given me knowledge of it, and I know it, and thou sowest me their doings. But I was like a lamb or an ox that is brought to the slaughter. I knew not that they had devised, that they had to devise devices against me, saying, Let us destroy the tree which with the fruit thereof, and let us cut him off from the land of the living, that his name be may be no more remembered. But the Lord of hosts that judges righteously, that trieth the reins in the heart, let me see the vengeance of my cause. And family, you can come over to, um, I believe it's, yeah. This is Psalms 137, captives in Babylon. O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed? Happy shall he be that rewardeth thee as thou hast served us happy shall he be that taketh and dashes thou little ones against the stones and also family you can look into isaiah starting at chapter 13 the doom of babylon verse 6 how ye for the day of the lord is at hand it shall come as destruction from the almighty therefore shall the hands be faint and everyone and every man's heart shall melt and they shall be afraid. Pangs and sorrows shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that travaileth. They shall be amazed one at another. Their faces shall be as flames. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate. And he shall destroy the sinners there out of it. For the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof shall not give their light. The sun shall be darkened. In his going forth, and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. Verse 11 And I will punish the world for their evil, and the wicked for their in iniquity, and I will cause the arrogance of the proud to cease, and I will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man. And family, you, if you wanted to cross reference, then that's in the book of Isaiah. That's chapter, let's see, that was chapter 13, starting at verse 6. But you can also do more cross-referencing um, about Babylon in the book of Revelation, the fall of Babylon, how it happens in one hour, and also in the book of Daniel, chapter 5, verses 22 and 23, I believe.
But yeah, it is written, family, and it will take place. Nothing new under the sun. We just can't seem to learn from our past. I just pray the Lord has mercy on us when it does take place. Gives refuge, which I believe he will, to his saints and the ones that follow him. But to the others, you know, I don't, I don't you know, it's a sad thing that's coming to a lot of people. A lot of people ain't going to be prepared for it. I pray the Lord have mercy on their soul if they don't make it. But Babylon will fall, family, in one hour. I mean, look at this nation. Look at all the idols. Look at all the things that come, all the perverse things that come out of people and come out of this nation. I mean, yeah, there's other nations that do terrible, horrible things. But when you're a nation that's supposed to be an example, and you start turning on God and taking God ever out of everything, well, guess what? God's going to use you as an example, just as he did Sodom and Gomorrah. Love you guys. I love you, Lord. All praise is to the most high, always, no matter what we face. Be encouraged, family. Smile. Don't worry about the naysayers. Don't worry about the haters. Got to give them something to talk about. Let them be cowardly, man. If you've already, you know, confronted them or you've already brought to their attention their error and their ways or you've tried to help them and they don't want to take the help, then you know what, family? Leave it be. Pray for them. Love them from a distance. Do whatever you got to do. But leave it be. Later.